this man had disappeared for five years from the surface of the Earth, the American scientist Dr. George Carlo was regarded as the biggest whistleblower on risks associated with cell phone radiation. For six years, from 1993 to 1999, he was employed by the industry and was being paid $28 million for what they later regarded to be unwelcomed scientific data. Today, six years later, Dr. Carlo is meticulously preparing his comeback and has engaged himself as expert witness for American attorneys who are in the process of claiming several billion dollars in damages from the cell phone industry. The former industry guy is now their biggest nightmare. Almost every study that has been done shows some evidence of danger. Now the other side of the coin here is that there are no studies that have been done on people who use mobile phones that provide conclusive evidence of safety. So that on the human epidemiology side, you have studies that show problems or potential problems and studies that are inconclusive. Now the industry spins the science and they put it out there for public consumption as though these studies are evidence of safety. It is scientific fraud. As early as 1999, Carlos sought to get in first. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. We're going to begin this evening with a subject that sooner or later occurs to millions of people who use cell phones. Are they safe? Can you get cancer from a cell phone because it's so close to your head? Almost 400 million people in the world, 80 million people in the U.S., are using cell phones now. The cell phone industry has always said they're safe. But now, in an exclusive report compiled by ABC's Brian Ross, the man who was in charge of the industry research program says this is not necessarily so. Six years after the cell phone industry gave him $25 million for scientific research it hoped would prove cell phones safe, Dr. George Carlo has come to this conclusion. We've moved into an area where we now have some direct evidence of possible harm from cellular phones. Well, I'm, I'm on this thing every day. Breaking ranks with the industry and incurring criticism even from one of his own colleagues on the study, Dr. Carlo tells ABC News research he oversaw suggests two potential problems. Genetic damage, which can be a precursor to cancer and other diseases. And while he found no increase in cancer overall, an increased risk of a rare type of brain tumor. This is shortly after we had the first findings that were um, um, negative and began talking about them. Um, my, my house in, uh, out on the Chesapeake Bay was uh, set on fire, burned to the ground. Um, the authorities concluded that it was arson. Uh, never been able to solve who did it. The difficult times seem to be forgotten. One by one, Dr. Carlo puts together a team that could serve as witnesses against the industry in an American court. He sees a court case as the last chance to make his warning heard. Today, Dr. George Carlo is no longer alone. Research teams in Europe have found similar problems in their studies. So in a way, the first meeting with the head of the European cell phone studies is a historic moment. Professor Adelkoffer, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Good sir. Good to see you. It's a pleasure. So, I've heard a lot about you. Well, and under... it's a pleasure for me to meet you here to talk with you, to find out what is true and what is not true. Well, the same goes for me hearing about you. And had circumstances been different, maybe we would have met a lot sooner. So, welcome. But that was not the case. <laughs> Let's try to find out 
how near we are with one another, with our finding on uh, electromagnetic fields. For four years, the German physician Franz Adelkofer directed the biggest European study on electromagnetic fields called Reflex. Twelve institutes in eight European countries evaluated the risks of mobile phone use for consumers. And the researchers came to similar conclusions, namely single and double stand breaks of the DNA, which in the worst case can lead to cancer. And there is another similarity. The industry uses counter-studies, which it finances itself, to deny the problems. I doubt if we cannot change the ratio between industry-controlled research and independent research. Mm -hmm. Not much can be changed. It will go on another 10, 15 years. And if we are um, unlucky, in a very unhappy situation, then the problem cannot be hide anymore because the interval is long enough mm -hmm. to show whether the cancer rate, the brain cancer rate increases or not. But what a catastrophe that we are in the position to run open, with open eyes, into a field experiment, yeah. not knowing the possible outcome. Isn't that a catastrophe? Absolutely. It's unbelievable. The University Clinic in Vienna, one of the biggest European hospitals, it was here that Professor Adelkofer found a highly competent expert in work-related medicine, Professor Hude Rüdiger. When they began their research, they believed that there were no problems. But equipped with the most sophisticated research facilities in their laboratories, they discovered the genotoxic changes in human cells. Because of what they found, they joined the course to alert consumers of the dangers. I've learned one thing as a filmmaker. These days we have to take our health in our own hands to a large extent. And during my research I came across a company in Bavaria which is offering a solution to the problem. A small step with a great effect. The cell phone transformer made by Mammon is simply laid over the battery and the user is protected from harmful radiation right away. Hard to believe? Well, you can't fool science. Under the dark field microscope, the medic sees the difference. These harmonized blood cells could be said to be just floating. It's an effect produced by the Mammon cell phone transformer. In recent years, the attention of scientists has been increasingly drawn to cell reactions. It really is true that radiation from mobile phones strongly influences cell reactions in human blood. We now know that this can lead to disease, even cancer. After a mobile phone conversation lasting just 10 minutes, our blood undergoes these changes, which scientists call the Rollo phenomenon. The blood forms lumps. If we compare this with the blood harmonized by the Mammon transformer, we have impressive proof of the difference. The conclusions are obvious. As Eckhard Scheller puts it, the solution to this huge burden of radiation is in itself pretty simple. All the companies have to do is integrate the Mammon technology just as catalytic converters were suddenly incorporated, even though previously there was supposed to be no need for them. If every factory that produced cell phones did this, the problem would be solved. The company has become active itself and come up with the Combi phone, an absolutely safe and user-friendly mobile. Its extraordinary technology speaks for itself. The father of the Memon technology, Winfried Docho, uses a bioresonance device to demonstrate the harmonic vibration of the Memon cell phone, in which all the pathogenic information contained in the electromagnetic field is deleted. The Memon Combi phone is, so to speak, a healthy mobile. As Winfried Docho himself puts it, we are on the right path and we can solve all the technical problems using the Memon system because we work in the information sector.
Every material system first sends out a piece of information. Without information, we would not be sitting here. It's so routine we take it as given. But without information, nothing happens in the world. The Mammon research team have succeeded in eliminating pathogenic information also in our most important source of life, water. In many thousands of tests in the laboratory, they have proved the effectiveness of the Mammon technology. Water must be seen as our most sensitive element, being able, for example, to absorb and transmit any harmful material. And here too, so to speak, as a carrier of information. Physician Dr. Michael Steinhöfel explained this by means of a glass of ordinary tap water. Then we perform a bacteriological test in an incubator and find a certain number of bacteria. Then we compare this with the water harmonized by the mammon process. We wanted to know what would happen. The growth is stopped. At first, this was a great surprise. Dr. Steinhöfel explains that the principle is based on bioresonance. There is a constructive wave that accounts for electrosmog. Memon produces a destructive wave which eliminates precisely this unwanted wave. Not just reduces, but eliminates. It doesn't suppress them or, so to speak, heterodyne them, but neutralizes them. This restores the original quality of the water, or else electric current no longer has a harmful effect. Of course, we need the carrier waves in order to telephone or to make light, but the waves that cause the trouble, we don't need them. The Mammon Revolution is a world revolution.